stoichiometry, a very important aspect of chemistry, general chemistry to be precise. So in today's topic, stoichiometry, we'll start from the definitions and we'll look at calculations involving stoichiometry, where we'll look at the relationship between products and reactants, and we'll tend to balance the equation in any reaction. All right, so let's start from the definition of stoichiometry. What is stoichiometry? Stoichiometry is defined as a quantitative relationship between reactants and products in terms of moles or grams in a balanced chemical reaction. Stoichiometry is a quantitative. So the first word we are looking at in stoichiometry is quantitative. Stoichiometry is a quantitative reaction or a quantitative relationship between reactants and products in terms of grams or moles in a balanced chemical reaction. So, take for example, if I have an equation of reaction, let's say I have hydrogen gas reacting with oxygen gas to form water. If I have this equation of reaction, in stoichiometry, the first thing we consider, we look at this equation of reaction, the first thing we observe in this equation of reaction is to balance this equation of reaction. Now, in stoichiometry, the first thing you do is to balance the equation of reaction. I have two hydrogen atoms here, and I have two hydrogen atoms here. But on the left hand side, I have two oxygen atoms, and I have one oxygen atom. So, you must balance the equation of reaction in stoichiometry before you start any calculation. So, to balance this equation of reaction, I'm going to add two molecules of hydrogen to this, and I'm going to add two to water, such that hydrogen on the left hand side becomes 2 times 2, 4, and hydrogen on the right hand side is 2 times 2, 4. Oxygen on the left hand side is 2, and oxygen on the right hand side is 2. Now, in stoichiometry, the equation of reaction must be balanced before we proceed to any calculation. Remember we said it's a quantitative relationship between reactants and products. The whole of this, the whole of this is called the reactant. The whole of this is called the reactant, while this is called the product. So when we look at when we look at the relationship between the reactant and product in terms of grams or more in a balanced chemical reaction, that is the definition of stoichiometry. So we we'll proceed to take the first example on how we can use stoichiometry to make some important calculations. And let's see how the answers are going to look like. Alright, so example one on stoichiometry. The question is calculate the amount of H2O if 12 grams, if 12 grams of hydrogen react with oxygen to form water. This is a basic question in stoichiometry. Now in stoichiometry, since we are looking at a quantitative relationship between reactants and products, the first thing we need to do is to write out the equation of reaction. So the solution to this question, the solution to this question, the first thing to do is to write out the equation of reaction. The equation of reaction, hydrogen gas is reacting with oxygen gas to form water, to form water. Water is H2O. Now, in stoichiometry, like we earlier stated, the first thing to do is to balance the equation of reaction. Now, to balance this equation of reaction, you add 2 to hydrogen and you add 2 to water. Now, the equation of reaction is balanced. After balancing the equation of reaction, the next thing we proceed to do is to write out the mole ratio. The mole ratio is just the coefficient of each atom or compound in this reaction. So the mole ratio, the mole ratio of hydrogen gas is 2 mole. This is 2 mole. For oxygen, the coefficient here is 1. So this is 1 mole. And for water, this is 2 mole. So the mole ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 2. After balancing the equation of reaction, the next thing to do is to write out the mole ratio. Now after writing out the mole ratio, the next step is to write out the reacting masses. The reacting masses. The reacting mass is same thing as the molar mass. 
The reacting mass is when you multiply the molar mass by the coefficient of the atom. Hydrogen has a molar mass of 1. So 1 times 2 is 2. But since it's having a coefficient of 2, you multiply that 2, this 2, you multiply it times the mass of hydrogen atom, which is 2 grams. And for oxygen, this is 1 times the molar mass of oxygen is 16. 16 times 2 will give you 32 grams. And for water, this is this 2, you bring it down, multiply by the molar mass of H2O. The molar mass of H2O is 18 grams. You close the bracket. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to bring this equation to the other side of the board and write down the reacting masses. So I'm going to put that real quick such that I'm going to have this is nitrogen gas plus oxygen to form two molecules of water and you add two here to balance the equation of reaction. Now the reacting mass from what we've got here, two times two is going to give me four. So under nitrogen gas, I'm going to write four grams. For oxygen, one times 32 is 32 grams. I'm going to write 32 grams. And under water, 2 times 18 is going to give me 36. So I'm going to write 36 grams. These are the reacting masses. If you are to solve the equation of stoichiometry, the first thing you need to do is to balance the equation of reaction. After balancing the equation of reaction, you write down the reacting masses. After writing down the reacting mass, now you come back to the question. The question says you calculate the amount of water. We are looking for the amount of water, which is the product. If 12 grams of hydrogen, so 12 grams of hydrogen reacted with oxygen, so I'm going to do this. 12, 12 grams, 12 grams of hydrogen, 12 grams, 12 grams of hydrogen reacted with oxygen to form water. So what I'm looking for is actually the X gram of water. Look at this. I want to explain this to you. 4 grams of hydrogen produce 36 grams of H2O. So therefore, from the question, 12 grams of hydrogen will produce X gram of water. Now, what you are going to do here, this oxygen is not of interest to us because we are not giving the reacting mass of oxygen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 4 grams and 36 grams, 12 grams and X gram into consideration such that I'm going to have that 4 gram of hydrogen is equal to 36 grams of water. So 12 grams of hydrogen will produce X gram. Now to get X gram, you cross multiply. If you cross multiply, you have 4 gram times, this is X gram, is equal to 12 gram times 36 gram. If you do this to make x gram subject of the equation, you divide both sides by 4 grams. You divide there by 4 grams. Such that 4 grams will take off 4 grams. And I'll have that 12 times 36 divided by 4. 12 times 36 divided by 4. This is going to give me 4 going to the 1. 4 going to 12 is going to give me 3. And 3 times 36. 3 times 36. Let's do that on the part of the board. 36 times 3, 6 times 3 is going to give me 18, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1, 10. So, 3 times 36 is 108 gram. Now, 108 gram is the X gram, the unknown mass of water. So, X gram of water is equal to 108, 108 gram, 108 gram of water. We have gotten the mass of water. The next thing is to proceed to get the amount of H2O. There's a formula that states that amount is equal to mass over molar mass. Okay, so after getting the mass of water, the mass of water is 108 gram. We have gotten the X gram of water. Now, the ask us to get the amount in more of water. There's a formula that is amount, amount in more. Amount in mole is equal to mass is equal to mass in gram over 
the molar mass in grams per mole. Mass in grams over the molar mass in grams per mole. This formula we use that to get the amount of the substance. Now, amount, the amount of water of H2O is equal to the mass of water, the mass we got is 108 grams. So I'm going to write 108 grams all over the molar mass of water. The molar mass of water is H2O. So the molar mass is the sum of the individual masses in one molecule of this particular compound. Hydrogen is 1 times this 2 plus oxygen is 16 times 1. So everything is going to give me 18 grams per mole. So the molar mass of H2O is 18 grams per mole. I'm going to write 18 grams per mole. Now from here, 18 divided 108, this is going to give me 6 mole. 6 mole. Because gram is going to take off gram. So the amount in mole of H2O. So therefore, the amount of water in this particular reaction is equal to 6 mole. So we have 6 mole of H2O. We have 6 mole of H2O. And this is the final answer. And that's that for example 1.